Alright, welcome back to the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 Vento Oreo PS2 game. This is all the secret factors for Chapter 6. Now this one's a little different. Uh, the first thing I opened up with is a uh, his Mista's Heavy Attack, which is just pressing X. If you hit White Album's user with it, he, it, it will instantly knock him off balance, and if you do it twice in a row, you get all of the secret factors besides the last one, which is to hit him with an R1, which is your stand shoot for Mista. I don't believe that Mista has a charge shot in this game, but uh, you, you notice I'm keeping him away. The best strategy to do is to keep this going. Like, You want to try to shoot him with minor bullets because he tries to dodge all, all of the minor bullets. And if he dodges all the minor bullets, then it allows you to heavy shoot him again and he falls all the way back there. This is all you get to do for this, like, two minutes of gameplay, and after you get all of the secret factors, there, you, it's usually advised to save them, because you could do, like, really, uh, really clint, or really clutch, clutch health saves, but uh, I did them all at the beginning just to show them off, and I, this is not a perfect run of this mission, uh, I did not feel like doing that because it's a pain in the ass sometimes, but, uh, yep, and you notice that my aim is fucking awful. Mista's auto aim. Mista likes to auto aim sometimes and then not other times. It's it's really it's not fun. But yeah, it's just about two minutes just riding on this car. This is a great uh, segment in the actual manga. I recommend everyone read Part Five manga. I mean, though if you're watching this, I don't know why you haven't. Uh, but yeah, the this the pro strats here is to just kind of spam X. Also, normal bullets will, will will pause him for a second. It'll also lead him up to be hit with the uh, the super hard charge. And man, I took a lot of damage here. Big damage for big boys. Alright, now we're on chapter 6-2. This time it's going to be Mista versus Gatcha on the ground. Uh, this one's a little bit different. I mean, Mista still controls the same as he did on the car. This time there's no, like, rolling and shit, though. So, the first thing you want to do is actually go over and shoot this lion statue. So, uh, after you do that, you'll gain your first, uh, your secret factor. And now it's time for the fun part of trying to get him to comply with his secret factors because, God, does he never want to do it sometimes. There's, there's one here specifically that he's a huge pain in the ass with, but the best recommended strategy for this mission is to hard shoot him and then knock him on his ass, because if you knock him on his ass and get in there and do a little bit of uh, nice damage. Uh, with the hard shot, you also just do like straight up damage, and Mista sometimes wants to lock onto him, so it, it's a pain in the ass to not hard shoot him first, but when you do, he, he turns into a much easier fight, and he presents himself pretty well. But uh, right now we're just waiting for uh, him to have had enough damage done to him that this cutscene gets triggered. It mainly after you do, I believe, a quarter of his health. If you shoot a a uh, what are they called? Street lamp to the point that jagged spikes come out, then this will trigger this cutscene and it will show this barrier that you have to get to fuck with. And now that you have the jagged spikes, ye, that's that's the secret factor is getting that cutscene. And now the fun part is you actually have to uh, trick him into coming near these spikes and that way you can get some solid damage in on there. And if you notice, another part of the secret factor is to shoot him when he has his barrier up. If he has his barrier up, you get the last secret factor of this area is to shoot him with that barrier up. So yep, that's all the secret factors for this mission, and now it's time to just beat this fucking... I don't like... I like and don't like this boss fight at the same time, because it's actually really fun when you get when you get a hang of it. And this is one of the fights I tested out Fugo on, and god, that was actually a lot of fun. Which is surprising, because Fugo is very non-mobile. And I had done this run before with a... is like a perfected S rank. But the issue was, like, all of the secret factors I was showing off were done in, like, really shitty ways. And so I decided to go with this take instead. Uh, which I think is fine. I mean, I only take a little bit of damage. And, uh, that's it. So I'll see you next time.